For our final video in the Pages on the iPad module, we are going to look at sharing and saving. We talked briefly about saving earlier in a video, but just remember, on the iPad, Pages automatically saves content, very similar to a Google Doc. The key difference is wherever the location is that the document is being saved to. For instance, if I do not have iCloud Drive turned on and it is not saving to Google Drive, it will save directly to my iPad, which means if I make any changes, that automatic save that happens is going to be on the iPad itself. If I choose iCloud Drive, let's say that I'm working on a staff device, this is my device, I have my iPad. If I have iCloud Drive turned on as the save location, it will automatically be backing it up to iCloud Drive, exactly as a Google Doc would do into Google. So I do want to point that out. If I'm in a document, in this case I'm in my wildlife document, if I want to share directly from the document, in the upper right hand corner you'll see the share arrow. So since I have iCloud turned on, I can share the link via iCloud, but our students will not be able to do that. From here, I have two other options. I can send a copy, or I can open in another app. Now this will be in Pages format. I have not changed the format of the document at this point. If I choose Send a Copy, now is when it will ask me, what format would you like to send this document in? If I maintain the Pages format, the person who will be receiving it or trying to open it will need to have Pages available. I can choose a PDF, but remember if you choose PDF, although it is a standard format across all devices, it is not easily editable. So if you need changes made or someone's going to receive it and want to make changes, keep that in mind. You can exchange this and send it as a Word document. Um, but you cannot go from Word to Pages. So if you send this out as a Word document, someone makes adjustments and then you say, well now send it back to me and I want to put it, uh, send it back to me in a Pages format, that doesn't happen. You would actually need to take that information back out of Word and put it into Pages. And finally you will see EPUB. If you are interested in creating um, an iBook, an iBooks author, an EPUB format is excellent because you can actually import an EPUB file into iBooks author as a page. So if you are interested in that or you have done that before, EPUB is a great way to do it. People also have published EPUBs out to things like uh, Amazon Kindle and things, um, other programs of that nature. So this is also a publication format. That's why it is EPUB. It's an electronic publication format. And you may want to explore that a little bit with your students. So these are the formats in which you can send a copy. I'm going to choose the standard pages. It is going to set up the document, make it ready. You'll see that I can airdrop this. I can send it via mail, add to notes, copy to drive, and any other app that can be ha that can handle sharing or sending a copy of this document. You'll see that I can also send it to, I can add it to iCloud Drive. So whatever way you want to do that, you can send that copy. If you change the format, so let's say that I want to send a copy and I choose PDF, I will see very similar options, but you'll notice that some of them may be different because different applications can handle formats differently. So when I had the pages format, iBooks was not an option. When I put it in PDF, iBooks becomes an option. So does Adobe Acrobat, so does Sketch. So keep that in mind whenever you are thinking about the format that you want to have the students or yourself send a copy in. And below that you had open in another app. The same prompt will come up. Which format do you want to open? Remember, the format is going to determine the application. This time I'm going to choose Word. So it's now going to take my document, convert it into a Word document. You'll see that this may take a little bit longer because it is transcribing the text, it is transcribing the images, it is making sure that the font that I used matches up in Word. So now if I say copy to Word, my Word application will open and I will see my document. Now you notice at the top it says downloading missing fonts. I am currently not signed in so it is asking me to start a free trial. If your students are using Word and they have not signed in, we do have access to Word PowerPoint and Excel on the iPad, the key is that we will need to be signed in so that we can make sure because I cannot do anything until I am signed in. Notice it says activate to edit. So if you do export into a Word document, that is very possible and you may want your students to do that. That is completely a decision that you would make based on the needs of your classroom. So I have completed uh, looking at how to do my sharing from within the document. 
Now let's take a look at sharing in the documents. So whenever I choose documents, you'll see everything is automatically saved, and this is called Visual Report. If I want to change the name of that, I can simply tap on Visual Report, and I'm going to change the name of this to Wildlife. Once I change that, I'll simply save it, hit Enter, uh, and now I have Wildlife. From here, if I want to share, the Share arrow is in the upper left. When I choose that, you'll see I have the exact same options with the addition of move to. So when I'm in this view, I can move a document very easily and that's what I'm going to do from here. So I want to choose move to. It will ask me to select a document. I'll choose wildlife and you'll see that it's asking me about locations. So it prompts me to iCloud Drive because I am signed into iCloud. But I can go to the locations, choose more. I can also turn on Google Drive, which I'm going to do. I'll choose done. So now when I choose locations, I can choose drive. It's going to prompt me to sign in, which I would love to do. And now I can save this document into Google Drive directly from the screen. So those are the ways that you can share and save in pages on the iPad.